everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a collective haul, kind of autumn, winter haul, and they are all things that I've purchased over a few months. So I've got quite a lot. I've got shoes, clothes, a few makeup bits and barbs, jewellery, and pyjamas. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it now. So I'm going to start off with shoes, and I'm going to start off with my splurge item. So I bought some boots from Jack Wills, and it's their Chelsea boots, and they're the brown ones. And these are expensive, they're like £200, which is crazy. But I've wanted them for so long, and they go with everything, and they are just a classic staple. So I did splurge on them a little bit, and it hurt. But yeah, so I've got my babies, and I also got some socks to go with them, just so I could tuck them like in, in the boots. So yeah, I just got this grey pair of socks. And then I got some new Converse because these are my old ones. And yeah, they are disgusting. So I needed to pick up some new ones. I've had them for like a year. And I just got the black ones because I thought they were more kind of wintry, like the darker coloured ones. So yeah, and Converse you can just wear with anything. They can make like a loungy um, outfit look a bit cuter. So yeah, I got them. Then I got some boots from Topshop. And these are the black Amos. Chelsea pull on boots I think and again I love these they're comfortable and they're well made and they were about £60 so I don't think that's too bad for a nice pair of boots so yes and they can be worn like to dress up an outfit or they could be dressed down with like leggings and a baggy sweater and then I got a pair of heels from Marks and Spencers and these were just a bargain that I couldn't pass up they were £19.50 for these nude <coughs> um, court patent heels and they're beautiful and they are just a basic shoe that every girl needs and the colour of them is just the perfect tone of nude and they just look gorgeous on and they could be worn in so many ways and they're just like I said a wardrobe staple so I got them. Then I'm going to go on to clothes. I got another jacket from Jack Wills and this is just kind of like a wax cotton kind of style and I thought it'd be nice to just throw over um, like a t-shirt and leggings and just to kind of make a casual outfit again look smart so yeah I can't remember how much that was but yes and it's a nice kind of green fall colour so uh, then I got two shirts again from Marks and Spencers and um, is that gay that I shot there? I don't know but yeah, the first one is this animal print blouse, which I think is gorgeous. I've worn this so many times. I've worn it on nights out and dressed it up with kind of leather look leggings and heels. And I've worn it in the daytime with just normal leggings or black jeans. And I just love it. And both of these shirts were £29.50. The other one is this white one. And you can't see the buttons when it's done up. They get covered up. And the shape of it is really nice. It's kind of baggy and then the side bits are a bit longer. And it's looser fitting. And it's got these kind of black jewels on them. And again, that's just a lovely shirt. And I love shirts because you can wear them casually but you still look smart and kind of polished. Then I got this shirt from Jack Wills which I love. It's this lace top. And this was just randomly on sale. It was £60. And I'd gone down to £30 and then I had 20% off. So it ended up being like £24, I think. So that was a bit of a bargain. And it's just beautiful. It's a nice colour lace. It's kind of like this dusty colour that's good for autumn. And then it's got these cap sleeves that when you wear it, they do actually look like quite puffy. And it's just really pretty. So that's that. And I got a jumper from Topshop. And it's this cream kind of loose stitch jumper. It's got this pretty detailing on the neckline. And then the back is a bit longer than the front, which I also like. Because it gives it a bit more shape. And it's just a great um, kind of autumn essential for now when it's got very chilly. And then um, I got this dress oops, from Jack Wills again. Um, and it's navy and cherry striped. And it doesn't look like anything on off I mean but when you put it on it just looks beautiful and it fits the body so nicely and it's really thick so it'll be a nice warm winter dress to wear with boots so yeah 
And then next thing I'm gonna have a little rave about because they're amazing. And it's there, what I imagine the J. Crew pixie pants to be like. They are these black leggings and they are really thick and they're high waisted with these stretchy bands, so they're really figure flattering. And then they've got these kind of lines going down the middle, which add shape. And they're just so thick and warm and cosy. And they just look so much more kind of put together than the normal leggings that I used to wear, which were like seven pounds from H&M. So yeah, I love those. And they were 20 pounds from Zara, if I hadn't already said that. I'm, and I'm gonna go back and get like a few more pairs of these and just throw all my other old tattier leggings away and just live in these now. And then the pyjamas that I got are these ones. These were from m and again. I think it's it's because my mum's always in there. So when I'm shopping with my mum, kind of both go in and I have to entertain myself. But yeah, these pyjama shorts, and I slept in them last night, as you can probably tell. But they're this really pretty floral pattern, and then they've got a bit of lace, like, sticking out the ends. And then the top that came with them is really pretty. It's just this vest top with this lace. And it's got like the undercover support, so you know you don't slip out, which is always good. So I got them. And then onto makeup things, I've only got like two things. I got a lipstick from MAC and I got Russian Red, which is what I'm wearing at the moment, and I absolutely love this colour. It's just the perfect red colour, and I wanted just a nice red lipstick for this time of year. And then I got a foundation brush. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And it is amazing and it's so heavy and dense and perfect for brush, uh, brushing in liquid foundation. And then I got a nail varnish which I'm so in love with and I'm wearing it now. And it's called I Have a Herring Problem from API. And it's this kind of blue tealy denim colour. But it actually looks really nice on the nails, especially if you're going to be wearing navy or denim. And it's beautiful. It's got these kind of silver... Um, reflex in it, I don't know if you can see that, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it so much, you definitely need two coats of it, but I just think it's a really flattering colour, it's not too kind of loud, I'm wearing blue on my nails, it just looks really kind of sophisticated, I really like it. And then I got a necklace from Lynx, this was actually a present from my boyfriend, just because he was feeling extra generous, and it's from Lynx. And I have the Lynx Sweetie bracelet, and this is like the Sweetie necklace, and it's really pretty. So it's just silver, and then it's got these kind of three rings on it that are like all the Sweetie kind of things. And yeah, it's just really delicate, and when you've got it on, like it's not like really loud, it's just delicate and pretty, and I love that. So, put that over there. And then the next things I got, I was so excited about these, does that make me sad? I don't know. But they're twist bands and I've heard so much about these and I was just so excited and they're really cool and the downside is that they do give you a slight kink it's like a bit of bull that they don't but they do give you a little kink but I got a 12 pack of the spring collection and they're just absolutely beautiful so I got those and then the last thing I bought was a candle from Yankee Candle and again this is so delicious. It is called Blissful Autumn and it just smells warm and fruity and it does smell like autumn and it's just delicious and I can't get over how magical this smells and you should definitely go and sniff this out. It isn't the prettiest colour candle but it's absolutely delicious so yes. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.